All righty. Um, we have an exam tomorrow. It will be just multiple choice in vocab. I think there's 10 vocab on there. Uh, he did. She hasn't. Oh, okay. So, right. whenever she wants to is fine. No, it's okay. You put it, yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Um, 10 vocab. Yep. How many questions are there? 20 multiple choice questions. Vocab is 10. 10 questions. So 30 questions total. Mm -hmm. I think we will. Um, what else I have? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Back on track. Um, Friday. So there's, it's like a three part exam, actually. So Friday, we're going to start talking about bird identification and uh, a couple of things to help you out. Um, I'll probably use the birds that you had researched, so you should be like familiar with them. And then some like common ones around South Dakota. And then I believe there's also a waterfowl. So that one's just on random birds. And then the last part is specifically about waterfowl. So, I don't know, probably be mallard, wood duck, there's 10. Mallard, wood duck, Canadian goose, snow goose. I don't know, I'll pick up some better ones. Green winged teal, stuff like that. Um, any questions with what we're doing? Nope, okay. Let's go through it then. How do birds inhale their air? Yep, and this question is actually asking by like, by what means do birds inhale their air? So. You may know. I'll give you the three, um, three op four options. By flexing their super coracoidoidus muscle, by lowering their sternum, <coughs> by flexing their pectoralis, pectoral muscle, or by lowering their cranium. We didn't talk about this. Maybe I'll switch it out for something. Second one. Yeah. By lowering their sternum. Sounds right. I could research that. I don't like that question. Maybe I'll, I'll probably switch that out for something. Okay, sorry. Um, the most common type of feathers are what? Contour. What feature about the Archaeopteryx um, made them think it resembled a bird? Feathers is one, but that's not an option. Because really all dinosaurs had feathers. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Claws. Do birds have claws? Oh, talons. Yeah, yeah I see what you mean. No. How about I give you the options? The bony tail, abdominal ribs, S-shaped neck, or teeth. S-shaped neck.
So birds, um, they evolved, adapted to be able to live in their shells um, and not die from this toxic waste product. So what is the toxic waste product that they evolved out of in order to survive in the egg? Lactic acid, pyruvic acid, uric acid, or urea? Urea. Yep. What is the first chamber that air enters into um, when birds breathe, not including like the glottis or the trachea. Which one? Posterior. Yeah, the posterior air sac. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. The structure that is lowered to initiate respiration is known as the, so it can be, the options are beak, tongue, wings, or furcula. Furcula. Oh, well, yeah. Good point. It is the furcula. I thought I was getting better at birds. I'm like, oh, I know it. We're good. Furcula. Which of the following is not an example of a frigate bird? A turkey vulture, a peregrine falcon, a golden eagle, or an albatross? Why do we not? We didn't cover any of this. I might have to make our own. My own quote. Oh, you did? Okay, and it's albatross. Right? Okay, good. Wait, is it? I don't know. I should. Ah! It's not the turkey vulture, and it's not the golden eagle. So it's either the golden e the falcon, or the albatross. It's probably the peregrine falcon. How big is falcon? It's pretty small. Oh, it's really little. How big is an albatross? Oh, that's not bad. Are frigates birds just... Oh, they're seabirds. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Yeah, no, that's not true. Okay, the frigate bird uh, is called that because it harasses other birds until they regurgitate recently captured food, which frigate bird snatches midair. That sounds like a turkey vulture type of behavior. So it's the it turkey. Says, they, is not yes. A so turkey vulture would be the. Would not be the answer. Would be the answer. Which of the following is not an example of a frigate bird? Yeah, frigate bird. Frigate. Frigate bird. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, you just said it sounds like a vulture. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like the answer would be vulture. I'm sorry. Because vultures wouldn't do that. They wouldn't? I don't think so. I'm just going to have to make new questions. 
then they would, and the question's asking for not. Like, not. Would not do that. Turkey vultures would not do that. Oh, I don't know. I thought, I just thought it sounded like a turkey vulture. Cowley. Because aren't those things that come in and eat your chickens? Yes. So. Turkey vultures? Yeah. They do? I thought they were. You just, you just said yes. I know. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I get it from my mom. Um, turkey vultures are like they eat dead things, right? So they're not very hostile. So a peregrine falcon, right? It's a falcon. It's a raptor. A golden eagle and an albatross are all predatory animals. So it is safe to say that a turkey vulture would not be a frigate. Hmm. <laughs> That's fine. No, if you get it. No, I'm grading it, so I'm telling you the answer. It's turkey vulture. So even if it is wrong, then as the kids say, NBD. They don't say it. They text it. I text it. That maybe it's before your time. No big deal, NBD. It's like when someone says, sorry, I won't make it tonight, I'm like, NBD. Oh, man. It's like... I'm like the, no, I'm to you like the millennials are to me. That's kind of crazy. Just old and washed out. I don't even know what that's saying for. Like when you said it. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, but like I just didn't know. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Odd. No kidding. That makes me feel old. It's a tough day for teaching. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, what gland secretes gastric juices for digestion? Yep, proventriculus. Ven proventricular lars. Yep, that one. I can spell it for you. Proven. Tri C U L A R I S. The concept, uh, yeah, the concept of blank allows for birds to have the ability to have a high metabolic rate. So what allows birds to have a high metabolic rate? The parabronchi, phagocytes, slow heart rate, or erythrocytes. Not erythrocytes. Erythrocytes? Because phagocytes are the cells that, why, okay, why do you say phagocytes? Oh, that's a good point. I was thinking erythrocytes because they carry oxygen. Dang it. Maybe it's neither for <laughs> At this point, who knows? Oh, yeah. Well, I go I go over it because Mr. McKenna talks about a lot of stuff that's not actually on the slides, but he'd talk about it. Oh yeah. And I just he's, don't know he what just his. Yeah, yeah, he knows all of it, and I'm new to it. So let's go with erythrocytes. With what? Erythrocytes. Oh. I can tell you when it was last updated. I don't know if I'm just probably. Well, no, I fix all the spelling errors in it, so it's probably. Oh, 2011. When he started teaching. Or no, he wasn't even here. 
Uh, oh, OK. Uh, what muscle acts as a rope and pulley for the recovery stroke in a bird's flight? Supercoracoiditis. The supercoracoiditis. See, I'd much rather have a um, ecology class than a zoology class. That's what I would do. Ecology is like the study of, so zoology is the study of animals. Ecology is study, the study of the ecosystem. So it's like how animals interact with each other rather, rather than just the animals themselves. I'm not critiquing that, this, but I, I think ecology is much more interesting to me. What is the end part of the digestive tract in birds? Could I wake up? You guys probably won't take ecology in college. I like it. In marine birds, where are the salt glands located near? Like what structure would you say the salt glands are located near? Remember the picture of the seagull that I showed you in class. Options? You want options? Sure. Um, we got the pharynx. We got the yeah pharynx, the tongue, the cloaca, or the eyes. eyes. The eyes. Yep, located near the eyes, right above it. Think of an eyebrow for the seagull. Uh, maybe. Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe their stomach will rupture, I can tell you. They can regurgitate pretty well. Some people say rice, but ducks eat rice all the time. <laughs> can, they, can they burp? I don't know. See, this is the kind of science I'm into. What? Weird. Okay. Yeah, apparently. Yes. Birds do explode. Yes, they will. Pop rocks contain various chemicals that react with the chicken's stomach lining. After... Uh -huh. I, I don't know how true that is. As long as they don't swallow, <laughs> they'll be okay. <laughs> That's what uh, BackyardChickens.com says. <laughs> yeah, the other one was... Give some to your chickens, yeah. If you have a rooster you don't like. My mom's ex-husband would feed pigeons cesium. Cesium's highly reactive with water. No, he didn't. That's fake. I'm sorry. I'm just reading the internet now. I thought you were talking like, well, your mom's ex-husband. Oh, no, I was reading, quoting, in quotations. That guy, yeah, that was made up. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just read it verbatim. An important organ for removing waste, such, of course, is the kidney, which, com which is composed of what? Nephrons. Nephrons. Yep. Can you tell us true or false, but, like, 
Some people, I, I don't get that. It's a 50-50 shot. 